Hello everybody, it's Ivan and in this video I'm going to share with you the easiest V-Ray for 3ds Max render settings. Before we start, I would like to bust two myths. The first one is that V-Ray render settings are difficult. Although there are a lot of parameters, we don't have to tweak each one of them. Actually, in the most cases, we can just stick to the default V-Ray render settings. Indeed. In some massive productions like from the movies, artists need to customize a lot of different things and in these cases, V-Ray shines. In fact, this is one of the reasons V-Ray is so popular in so many different industries. Another thing that I would like to make clear is that unfortunately there is no such thing like realistic render settings. The realism in our images usually will come from the lighting, materials, textures and basically from our expertise. So let's start. Before I open the render settings, I will click Shift plus F to show what portion of the viewport we will render. Then open the render settings. As you can notice, Vira is already set as a renderer. The first parameter here that is absolutely mandatory and is not actually a Vira one is the resolution. As we can see, there is a drop-down menu with ready-to-use presets and if we want to use a custom aspect ratio, we can just type it with the custom option. Just don't forget to lock it after you are ready. Thus, if you decide to increase the resolution, you will preserve the aspect ratio. Now let's see the V-Ray tab. The great thing with V-Ray is that we can use it as a very user-friendly render engine but at the same time, if we want, we can take advantage of all of these settings. As I promise, I will just use a few parameters. Right out of the box these settings work well, but if you have a strong motion blur or DOF, you may want to increase the minimum subdivision to 2, but that is a very rare occasion. Still, if you have a strong DOF, keep that in mind. The next thing that we will need to change is the noise threshold, set it to 0. Also, if you are with an older version, make sure that the maximum render time is set to zero. Otherwise, when V-Ray reaches the specified number in minutes, it will stop rendering. Let's see the render elements. They are not mandatory, but I strongly recommend adding two of them, V-Ray Denoiser and V-Ray Light Mix. Once the image is rendered, I will demonstrate how they can help us. Click Render. Now, the progressive render will start. You can go and grab a coffee and once the image is cleared enough and you are ok with the quality, you can stop the render. Now, if we double click on the right side of the V-Ray frame buffer, the layers will appear. Here, from the light mix, we can easily enable or disable different lights. That is why we have added the light mix render element. Now, the image is rendered with just a few tweaks on the render settings. 